Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. You guys already know what day it is today. It is any Monday, the day where I draw anime or fan art for you guys. And today in this video, I put up a poll and had some pretty good decisions up for you guys to choose from. From drawing myself as a Pokemon trainer, the Pokemon Sasuke, a lo fi animal, and then for you to comment your request if you guys have one or not. And I wanted you guys to comment your request on the community page, not on, on, not on a video. But other than that, let's jump right into the video. So, drawing myself as a Pokemon trainer was the one that won, and I had a really good reference photo of myself before I started drawing myself, and um, I had a lot of fun drawing this, and uh, I had some challenges here and there too that I'd like to talk about later on in the video, but pretty much, um, I first off started drawing myself the basic skeletal like I usually do, and the way how I draw my skeletals usually always works out. The triangles really does help out, the circle is the base, everything, it just really happens to pop everything out. But I first want to talk about the negatives before I talk about the positives in this video, and let's jump into that. So starting with the negatives, um, po drawing Pokemon characters, you have to draw them kind of blocky and kind of small and chibi style. I have never been anyone who's been ever really good at drawing chibi style people, so I did struggle with that when it came to making certain parts of the body, like the arms and the legs, because they're not streamlined like typical anime. They ha has its own particular style, and I was like, okay, this might be difficult to draw myself in this fashion. But eventually, I caught on to figure out how to do it. Um, my hand, my uh, right arm, the one that's going to be in my pocket, was a little bit challenging. As you see in the video, I'm going to mess with the arm a lot. I'm going to re-edit it. I'm going to change my style because I was going with two, through two different references. One of me wearing a t-shirt and one of me wearing a tank top. And I decided to go with the one with the tank top. And it just worked better for me and it looked better. And um, another issue I had while drawing this character was with the, the hair. Um, in Pokemon, there's not a lot of African-American people. I am African-American and Puerto Rican descent. And uh, so it was quite a challenge for me to be able to draw anything like that. And so I would get stuck um, on the hair on what to do. And it was a bit of a struggle for me, but eventually I figured it out. But it was just one of those things that just took time for me to figure out because there's not many references. If you were to Google for Pokemon trainer references and you were to look up black Pokemon trainer references, you would get like maybe three people you would get the summer a gym leader who's in karate gear and then something else and then that was it and then my next big issue with this entire image was drawing my pokemon my favorite pokemon is gengar i've always loved it very powerful pokemon and um, i just always loved using it and i tried drawing it freehand and i was just like this is tough and i just told myself after a while of trying and trying and trying that this shit is stupid and so i eventually just went online and found an image and image traced it because i was getting upset at it i was like this is the most ugliest thing i've ever drawn <laughs> it looks like a weird looking potato and you guys will see my struggle here when i'm trying to draw it and it was tough but other than that onto the good parts of this video um drawing my character initially it was very simple i found some reference images of what pokemon characters are supposed to look like and their body form and then from those references, I pretty much just made my own body out of looking at those to see how they were. Because I noticed that Pokemon trainers, they kind of stand proud. They have their chests out and they're usually always like have like a hand or some type of appendage sticking out showing their type of flair and their clothing. Uh, it's typical kid style anime clothing, if you will, you know, stuff like that. And again, um, just experimenting with it, uh, with this image. And like I said, I tried drawing myself in kind of the best way. I was thinking about doing like almost a carbon copy with the colors and everything, but instead of that, I decided to make myself a bit more brighter since Pokemon is a uh, colorful anime. And uh, I thought it'd be a good idea just to have some fun with it and just to throw some colors instead of making my colors exactly. And um, yeah, and I finally figured out a way. I was asking my ladies, like, what do you think about the hair? Because um, drawing African hair in Pokemon style. I had no good references. There was maybe like a few characters who had dreads, but I don't got dreads, so that would not work for me. And I was just like, whatever. So let me just do my own thing. It might be a bit blocky. And yeah, oh, and side note, <laughs> um, my eyes, for some reason, I made my eyes super bolded. And I didn't realize how bolded they were until I got to the end product and I was like, whoa, this is not what I meant to draw. And 
so I look a little freaky at the end of my eyes just because it's so bolded, but it's all good. I'm just having fun, you know. Uh, it's my first time ever doing this, and uh, yeah, you know, trial and error and experiment, you know, it's the best way to improve your style of art just by doing things. As you can see here with this ugly looking Gengar, I'm struggling with it, struggling darkly with it. Bah. But yeah. <laughs> But we are now coming to an end of the rough sketching and I'm about to start on to the line art phase and uh, I just want to hopefully you guys know, uh, ho hopefully you guys like this video, hopefully it was everything you guys want it to be, I'm glad you guys voted and again when you guys place a vote make sure you comment on that poll system. If you comment on a video with the requests then I'm not going to count it but if you, if you comment on that poll then I will count it okay you guys just as a heads up but um, yeah you, you know who it is I mean it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me drawing myself as a Pokemon trainer and it's horrific glory. Hopefully you guys liked looking at my ugly Gengar and what I used instead and hopefully you guys liked what I turned myself into. I think I did a pretty good job with my own character design. I switched up a couple things from my actual uh, self-portrait, my reference I had and just turned it into something really cool and I think it came out very nicely. I definitely look like a Pokemon character who is of African descent which is look really cool. I wish Pokemon would have more uh, people of this nature just because it would be cool. Usually in Pokemon what you can do it's just the color of the skin color and it doesn't change any of the hair and stuff in the actual game and uh, so it's like whatever but yeah I hope you guys liked the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please enjoy the rest of the speed art, the line art, finalization, all that bullshit. Your boy out.